Thank you, Malachi, and thank you all for joining us tonight. An upstate man is in critical condition at the hospital after a driver allegedly hit him while he was riding his bike on Woodruff Road. So the crash happened at the intersection of Woodruff Road and Anderson Ridge Road. That's where 7 News reporter Nicole Ford joins us tonight with a plea from the community for this driver to come forward. Nicole? Well, Gordon, we're told that Ben McCall's an avid cyclist who bikes this very busy road weekly as his child plays soccer nearby. Now, if you take a look, troopers say he was going east right at that orange paint when a car driving the same direction hit him from behind. Troopers say that car then fled the scene. Every hub bicycles, new bikes are being built left and right. There's always going to be more need than there is supply. A phrase befitting not just the bike itself, but places to ride them. There's always going to be more riders in their space. For elite riders like Ben McCall, they ride towards the rural areas to seek more space. A ride his friends say he frequents often. Flipped his world upside down Monday night. He's been riding for years. He, ben is one of the most experienced cyclists in our area. Orange paint still evident as cars fly past the area. A call was hit from behind. Without having the driver come forward and say they're part of what happened, and without Ben being conscious right now to tell us what happened, we really are stuck with not knowing the truth. Troopers now looking for a four-door burgundy sedan in the person who was driving, as McCall's friends pray that he pushes through. It is not acceptable to run over my friend and leave. Take responsible, do the right thing, come forward and tell us what happened. McCall is a member of a competitive riding team in the area who pushes safety. So he had a flashing taillight on his bike as well as a helmet. But the cycling community says these accidents ultimately come down to distracted driving. Biggest problem is, is if you are looking at your phone, I could be wearing a pink gorilla suit and you're not going to see me. Now, McCall was airlifted to Greenville Memorial Hospital last night. We're told he's in critical condition right now as troopers continue to investigate this accident. We're live in Greenville County tonight. Nicole Ford, 7 News. Nicole, people watching this are going to want to help find the person who did this. Do we have anything to go on besides maroon sedan? That's just not much. Well, yeah, that's actually the issue here is this is such a busy area. As you can tell right now during rush hour, this happened as it was starting to get dark last night around 730. So all they're really getting, they started out with nothing. So they have a burgundy sedan four doors. So they're hoping that after pe people see this, get that car description, they'll be able to come forward with some more information to help them solve this accident. Gordon. Yeah, this rider deserves answers, Nicole. Thank you.